But one day I was coming back from a football game, and uh, we still lived in Towers at the time. And as we came up Third Street there to go into Towers, here parked right in front of, of my doorstep was this magnificent 1930 Cabriolet Ford car, painted black and gold. I mean, it was unbelievable. And so I thought, I've got to get, I've got to, get to this person. So I put a note on his car and said, please, I live right in, in this doorway, right in front, right on the side where your car is. Would you please knock on my door when you come back? I want to talk to you about your car. Here this guy comes, Captain Ted Johnson. And he and his son had refinished this car. And I said, we have got to have this car as the official Ramblin' Wreck at Georgia Tech. Would you be interested in selling it? Absolutely not. I said, we've worked ourselves to death on this car. This is my son's car. It will be his car. And I expect him to keep that in that shape, he said, the rest of his life. This kind of thing. And so I said, I wish you'd probably, I wish you'd please give this some more thought. Please let's think of the future and what this could mean. He says, I don't have to think about it. He says, he says the answer is no. So, I kept bothering him that whole year. I bothered him so much, I guess, and I made such a story up about the grandeur of this car and what it would mean to Georgia Tech and what it would mean to him and his son, what it would mean to his family's future, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And so finally he said, all right, my son says he's willing for us to talk to you about securing this automobile. Great. So we got together. The big thing was, how much is he going to ask for this thing? Now that I've got myself this involved. <laughs> Where are you going to get the money? <laughs> well, I, I, unless it was just outlandish, I thought I could get the money up. And so he said, I want $1,000. I almost fainted. I mean, that was nothing, nothing compared to the worth of that car at the time. So I said, you got it. I didn't have the money, but I said, you got it to him. And I got to Bobby Dodd, and Bobby Dodd just pretty much handed over $1,000 just like that. 